So in today's Black History Month panel discussion, we're talking to the next generation. Our Brandon Pope, he talks to students from Betty Shabazz Academy, and it's about their school's rituals and prominent figures in black history. Let's take a look at what they had to say. We're here with some of the awesome students of Betty Shabazz Elementary School. Thanks for being here. You guys have a really awesome and interesting ritual you guys do every morning. Can someone explain to me what that is? The ritual is when where we all get together for the morning time and we all have an inner circle where it's from kindergarten all the way to third grade and we got an outer circle from fourth grade to eighth grade and that basically represents the community and well our future community. And what does that mean to you guys? That means that it's good to know like us me like a village and a community it's good to know that every time we walk into here to the school that we know we're a part of something greater than us. It means unity to me and that like we it brings more responsibility on me because it symbolizes like us having to look after the other younger people than us. To me it kinda like represents the like the community we have as a village because everyone gathers in the morning and the um Teachers greet the students, and the students greet the teachers, and it's just everybody's almost like a family to each other. I love that. Now, black history is a big part of the curriculum here. Um, who in black history stands out to you guys? Jabari? I'd say LeBron James because he, <laughs> he's, he's a very good basketball player, and he started up a school for kids in his community where he was born. And I think that's very powerful for him to make a school for kids. That shows that he's giving them hope. He's showing that you can do anything that you put your mind to. My person is Dr. Sebi. Um, he's not really a doctor, but people call him that because he found a way to cure like diseases and sicknesses like cancer um, and HIV from using natural herbs and fasting. I have two. I would say mine are Gabby Douglas or Misty Copeland because they both had dreams and they were told that because of their skin tone, they weren't gonna be able to accomplish that, but they got past that and followed their dream and did it anyway. Do you feel that people in your age group care about black history and, and who came before them? Not that much. People in general, they don't like like learning about their roots because they think that other things are more important than knowing about themselves. And they don't like taking the time to just learn who they are. And why do you think that is? Maybe because they weren't exposed to it as much as they should be. Like, all four of us has been at this school for a long time. So for us being at this school, we were exposed to that culture of us knowing that we should, you know, learn more about our culture. Especially at my age group and older, because like as you get older, you see like um, all the things that you hear about like police brutality and it's a lot to deal with and all the like this is stuff that's been happening. So like if you do, then like you know would know how to deal with the problems that are coming to you today. Now everyone's so focused on social media and getting views and likes that they don't really take the time to learn and educate themselves to appreciate the fact that if their ancestors didn't do what they did, they wouldn't have those opportunities. They wouldn't be able to go to school or have a phone that their ancestors made them have, be able to have those things and they just don't focus on that. I think it's important to have knowledge because you want to know who made you this person, whose genes may like, who did you come from? Why is it important that, that you know your culture and history? For me, like that has grown my mind and my understanding to the world and everything around me. You get to bond with more people about that. Your culture is part of who you are, and your culture is what makes you, you. So without having that knowledge, you might find yourself trying to be somebody else that you're not. You should always take time to try and learn about your history and your culture, because that's a big part of who you are as a person. Definitely. Well, you guys are great. 
um, leaders and examples to follow for other young people, not just in Chicago, but around the country. So thanks for doing this and uh, happy Black History Month to you guys. Wow, uh, uh, a big kudos to the educators and the parents involved right. with this, these children because you have to know where, where you've been. You have to know that history. It's that self-identity that is so important, specifically as African Americans, because yeah. we don't have a, 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 a country or a language that we identify with because we don't really know where we came from. Yeah, these kids are so woke. I love it. You didn't quite see it in the background, but I was in there snapping like, yes. okay, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, okay, They're testify. Aware. Yeah, they really are. So it's amazing amazing to see and gives you a lot of hope for our future. We're going to be airing these clips all month long, so be sure you tune in to see what we're talking about next. Plus, you can find our other Black History Month panels on the Jam TV show Facebook page and our website, wciu.com backslash the jam.